iodine, okay, when we talk about iodine, we're really referring to radioactive iodine when we're talking about it in pharmacologic stance. So what is iodine? Iodine is essential for normal thyroid function. The thyroid gland uses iodine to actually make thyroid hormones. So the only tissue in the body that is capable of taking up iodine is the thyroid gland. Radioactive iodine can be given to a patient. We can detect it outside the body, you know, and, then, and that gives us an idea of how the thyroid gland is functioning because the thyroid gland is the only one that takes up this iodine. If we give the patient radioactive iodine, the thyroid gland should take that up and we will be able to get a picture from outside the body on how the thyroid gland is actually working. We can give radioactive iodine to a patient who has an overactive thyroid. It can also be given to destroy thyroid cancel cells. Now, with any time that we're treating hyperthyroidism, we can actually cause hypothyroidism. So it's really important to let the patient understand that, that as we treat this hyperactive thyroid, we can actually put the patient in a state of hypoactive thyroid. So it's important that the patient understand that and that we monitor for that. The therapeutic class of this medication is antithyroid agent and given for control of hyperthyroidism. Some of the things to monitor in these patients would be GI bleeding, diarrhea, like we said, hypothyroidism. You may also monitor for goiter, and we monitor for hypersensitivity to the radioactive iodine. This radioactive iodine is safe to give to patients who have contrast allergies. And the biggest thing to really keep in mind here is that the thyroid gland uses iodine, okay? And that's why we have iodized salt now, too. You know, we need that iodine to create thyroid hormones. But if the thyroid gland becomes overactive, we can give them this radioactive iodine to monitor the function. And then we can also give it to treat hyperactive thyroid or to try to kill thyroid cancer cells. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to nrsng.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.